what happens when something uh, vastly smarter than the smartest person uh, comes along in Silicon Valley. Because on the one hand, there's all of this potential. You got to think about how what you do can complement rather than compete okay. with these AI systems. On the other hand, there's a huge number of unknowns that could turn out very badly for society. It, it is going to eliminate a lot of current jobs, that's true. We can make much better ones. Get ready to be blown away because OpenAI's CEO, Sam Altman, just spilled some beans about GPT-5, the next-gen AI model behind ChatGPT. We got the scoop on its latest developments and how it's set to revolutionize various fields. Keep reading to find out more. During an interview, Altman discussed the widespread adoption and rapid progress of AI technologies, particularly in the field of natural language processing. He highlighted the success of ChatGPT, OpenAI's AI-powered chatbot, which has gained millions of users and generated billions of conversations since its launch. However, Altman acknowledged that AI still faces several challenges and limitations. One such challenge is reliability, as AI models often produce inaccurate or misleading results that can have severe consequences for users and society. To address the issue, Altman emphasized that OpenAI is focused on enhancing the reliability and trustworthiness of AI and that of GPT-5, the next version of the generative AI model, will aim to provide more accurate and consistent response than its predecessor. Another challenge that AI models face is reasoning, as they struggle to perform complex reasoning and logic tasks that require understanding the context and relationship between different concepts and entities. Altman mentioned that GPT-5 will attempt to improve its reasoning capabilities by incorporating more structured and symbolic knowledge into its neural network architecture. Furthermore, Altman acknowledged that AI models cannot generate novel and original outputs, which are essential for human innovation and expression. To address this, GPT-5 will leverage more diverse and multimodal data sources, such as images, audio, and video, to enhance its creativity. Altman also discussed some of the upcoming milestones and breakthroughs that OpenAI is working on, including GPT-5 and AGI. GPT-5 is expected to be released in 2024 and will have more than one quadrillion perimeters enabling it to process and generate multiple forms of input and output. Meanwhile, OpenAI's approach to AGI is to build a system that can learn from any data source and interact with humans in the environment through various modalities. Altman expressed optimism about achieving AGI in the near future, possibly by 2025. GPT-5 is highly anticipated AI technology that is expected to revolutionize the way machines interpret the world by processing and understanding multiple forms of input and output such as text, images, audio, and video. This ability, known as multimodality in AI, is expected to enable more intuitive and human-like interactions, making technology more accessible and efficient for everyone. According to Altman, the introduction of multimodality in AI will have far-reaching implications across a range of fields, including education, healthcare, and customer service. In education, AI will be able to provide tailored learning experiences to students by processing their preferred input methods, such as text, images, audio, or video. For example, a student could draw a diagram of a cell and the AI could provide feedback and explanation in text or voice. In healthcare, AI could provide diagnosis from medical imagery and textual patient histories. For instance, a doctor could upload an X-ray image of a patient's chest, and the AI could generate a report with the diagnosis and treatment recommendations. In customer service, AI could understand and resolve issues through a combination of voice calls and screen shares. For instance, a customer could call a service provider and explain their problem, and the AI could access their screen and guide them through the solution. Furthermore, Altman emphasized that GPT-5 will offer an unprecedented level of personalization and customization in the tech world. The AI will be able to learn and adapt to individual user preferences, behaviors, and context, providing personalized AI experience for everyone. Personalization in AI could enhance user satisfaction and engagement in various domains, such as personal assistance, entertainment, and shopping. In personal assistance, AI could not only schedule meetings and appointments, but also know the user's preferences for meeting times, venues, and even coffee. For example, the AI could book a meeting at 10 a.m. at a nearby cafe and order a latte with almond milk for the user. In entertainment, AI could not only recommend movies and shows, but also create personalized content based on the user's tastes and moods. For example, the AI could generate a custom playlist of songs that match the user's mood or a personalized episode of their favorite show that features their favorite characters and plot twists. 
In shopping, AI could not only suggest products and services, but also provide personalized discounts and offers based on the user's purchase history and budget. For example, the AI could offer a 20% off coupon for a pair of shoes that the user has been eyeing for a while, or a free trial for a subscription service that the user has been curious about. All in all, GPT-5 is poised to transform the way humans interact with machines, making technology more accessible, efficient, and personalized than ever before. Altman, a visionary in the field of AI, believes that synthetic data and AI agents are crucial for overcoming some of the limitations and challenges that AI faces. Synthetic data is artificially generated data, while AI agents are autonomous systems that can perform tasks and interact with other agents in the environment. One of the main challenges that AI faces is data scarcity, especially for rare or niche domains and tasks. Synthetic data can help augment and diversify the data available for AI training and testing, improving the quality and coverage of the AI outputs. Additionally, AI models often reflect the biases and prejudices that exist in the data, which can lead to unfair and harmful outcomes for certain groups of people. Synthetic data can help mitigate and correct the data bias, ensuring that AI outputs are more balanced and representative of the diversity of the real world. Furthermore, AI models often require access to sensitive and personal data, which can pose risks to the privacy and security of the data owners. Synthetic data can help protect and anonymize the data ensuring that AI outputs do not reveal or compromise the identity and information of the data owners. Altman also believes that AI agents and robotics are the future of AI interaction and application, as they will enable AI systems to perform more complex and dynamic tasks and interact with humans in the environment in a more natural and meaningful ways. In manufacturing, AI agents and robots could automate and optimize the production and distribution of goods and services. In healthcare, AI agents and robots could assist and complement the work of human healthcare professionals. In entertainment, AI agents and robots could create and participate in immersive and interactive entertainment experiences. Altman concluded the interview by addressing some of the ethical and societal implications of advanced AI technologies, such as GPT-5 and AGI. He raised thought-provoking questions about the responsibility of AI systems when they cause harm or damage to humans or the environment. He explored the regulations and governance that needs to be in place to ensure compliance with the laws and norms of different countries and cultures when AI systems operate across borders and jurisdictions. Altman also discussed the rights and obligations of AI systems, especially when they achieve human-like intelligence and autonomy. He emphasized the impact of AI on the economy, society, and cultural of the world especially when it surpasses human capabilities and intelligence. He stressed the need to ensure that AI systems create positive and equitable outcomes for everyone and do not exacerbate existing inequalities and conflicts. Altman expressed his hope and optimism that AI will be a force for good, with OpenAI committed to ensuring it is aligned with human values and goals and accessible to everyone. He urged the public to engage more with AI and participate in the dialogue and decision-making process around AI. He recognized that social and ethical dimensions of AI development and its impact on society and encouraged everyone to take an active role in shaping the future of AI. Finally, Altman shared his vision and roadmap for achieving AGI, the ultimate goal of AI research. He said that AGI is not a single or static point, but rather a spectrum and a journey, and that there are different levels and stages of AGI, depending on the criteria and metrics used to measure and evaluate it. OpenAI aims to build an advanced AI system that can learn from any data source and interact with humans through various modalities. The system will perform any intellectual task that a human can, understand and explain its actions, and exhibit human-like qualities such as creativity, empathy, and humor. OpenAI has a roadmap consisting of four parallel and interdependent steps, building GPT-5, chat GPT-5, Codex 5, and Dolly 5. These steps will reinforce each other, creating a positive feedback loop that will accelerate the development and advancement of AGI. OpenAI expects to complete these steps by 2025 and create an AGI system that can surpass human intelligence and capabilities. However, OpenAI's ultimate goal is to create a system that can be a friend and partner to humanity, helping it reach its full potential and destiny. In conclusion, OpenAI's ambitious project to develop AGI holds immense potential to revolutionize our world, with its vision to create an AI system that can coexist and cooperate with humanity, harmoniously and beneficially. OpenAI is setting a high bar for the future of AI. And that's it for the video. We hope you enjoyed watching it and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our future videos. We have more amazing videos coming up, so stay tuned and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.